Hey everyone, just want to say a quick thank you for all the love that you guys showed on the Good Doctor video. It really surprised me and I'm so excited that we already hit 600 subscribers. To all the new scrub scribers, welcome to the scrub family. Get it? You know, scrubs because of <clears throat> medicine. Anyway, uh, this video is going to be about me taking the most important test of medical school. It's called STEP. Yes, this is an actual picture of me right after the test because it was eight hours long and I was literally dead. My reaction to House and Grace Anatomy are coming in the future, so I hope you all enjoy this video. Sit tight, grab the popcorn, and start the video now! What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about step dig, which is different from the last video where I talked about steps to me techniques. Three, two, one, with the I button and it'll take you to that video. But today I'm going to talk about the actual day of the step and what to expect because I had no idea what was going to happen going into the test and a lot of funny things happened. So I was studying for step for a very long time. The way that you know that is you'll hit a point my pinky was going numb because I had my hand rested every single day on the edge of my laptop. The night before the actual day of step, I had to call my parents and I was like, I'm freaking out, I'm really nervous. They were like, relax, you've been preparing for it, like everything's in God's hands. I had to like start reciting Bible verses. I recited Psalm 23. I told myself I'd sleep at like 10 or 11. I think I ended up going to sleep like maybe midnight or one, maybe two in the morning, I'm not even sure. The second my alarm went off, I was already awake. Like it wasn't like, oh, I was like sleeping. <laughs> Right, where's the exam? Let's go take it. It's been eight weeks. I woke up at five because my site was an hour away. I think I was taking it at the Hamilton site. Oh, Alexander Hamilton. My dad picked me up. We were driving and we were going to get there by 7.30. The exam starts at eight. Oh, and in the car, I was doing last minute review, which I think everyone should do. I had like a sketchy notes book. Might as well do the most bang for my buck. I'm going to get the micro questions right if I just look through them one last time. <laughs> first aid book there are some review tables oh my gosh those things are so helpful i think i got like 50 questions straight out of the rapid review what? tables in the back of the book you're probably thinking how did you have enough time to do that well we hit traffic and i freaked out i don't know if i really was freaking out but just like i was thinking about what would happen if i got to the site late and there was so much traffic and i was like how is there traffic on a set when did i take it on Wednesday. Whenever I took it, there was traffic that morning, super early, and I was like, we're in the middle of nowhere. And then we see the accident. And oh my lord, it was so bad. There was like a truck and a car and the car was flipped over. But the really like sad and scary part about it all was like, there was a body bag on the ground. And like, that was such a wow factor for me. I'm going to take this exam to heal people. I witnessed death en route to take step. Like my, even my dad was like, I've never seen a car accident where the body bag was still there. And oof, I was like, wow, okay, like this is a lot. I'm late, there was death, and I'm trying to review. There was traffic because everyone was like trying to see what was going on on the other side of the road. My dad was like, Peter, just focus. And I was like, what do you mean just <laughs> And he just sped. I was like, Dad, it's okay. Like, we can be late. I don't want you to get a ticket. And he's going 95 miles an hour down this empty highway. So I was like, you know what? There's no point in me getting upset or frustrated or concerned about my safety right now because, you know, I should just focus on this. And like, I was like, Dad, we just saw someone who got into a car accident. Why are you... Whatever. It made no sense to me. We get to the site at 8.03. No. No, we get to the site at 8.01. And my dad was like, see, I told you we weren't going to be late. Thank God he gives me a hug, he gives me a kiss, he prays for me. And then I go and take my stuff upstairs. Also, for those of you who don't know, this is like, this is a, an aside. But for those of you who don't have immigrant parents, you probably don't understand what it's like to go take an exam of this magnitude. Because there's also like a certain amount of um, parental care for you. So my mom packed my lunch, which is fine. But... I had this lunch box that was this big. Mom, I'm not going to Canada. I'm going to take an exam. Peter, I put some grapes in the side. There's a sandwich over there. There's some juice. There's some nuts and crackers, gummies, and there's Gatorade. There's wow. I'm like set to go travel to another country. So I walk in late to this site. And here's where like the juicy part of the story comes in. I'm late, right? So I get there at 8.01, the exam was supposed to start at 8. It's 8.03 when I finally open the door. And then I go inside. And you know what I saw? All these people just lined up around the room. 
and everyone stares at me because I'm walking in late, probably sweating, stuff in my hand, and I look like I was just ready to go traveling. I just looked at everyone, and I tried to play it off cool, but like the social anxiety was like boiling up inside. That wasn't even a word. Boiling up. I just looked at everyone. I was like, so did the exam start? And then some people were like, no, no. Then it was taking a very long time for someone to come out. How can I get on board this line that's been set up? And they finally came out. Hi, I'm here to take an exam. Give me one second. Sorry everyone, we're having some technical difficulties. We're gonna get, get you all in very soon. Oh. Huh. Well, all right then. They're having technical difficulties, so I ain't late. They late. Shoot, don't tell them you're late, bro. Just tell them you can't one time. Count was like, I'm sorry for being late, there's a huge accident. She's like, it's fine, we had someone call ahead of time, we know there's a huge accident, don't worry, just here's your key, just relax, you can go put your stuff in the locker and I'll call you when you're ready. So as I'm putting my stuff in my locker, I hear test taker number three, and I look down, and I'm test taker number 14. And I was like, oh, we got a long time! So I just took my first aid book, sat down with some peanuts, and I was just like munching on it, ended up going into my exam at 8.45. So that was 45 minutes extra, and then she finally calls me in and I go in. The like pat-down process, I was super nervous about, because just the whole testing scenario when I went to the MCAT was the worst ever. They made me feel like a prisoner, and every time I went to go like sweat if I did it incorrectly, baby, what I say? You gotta put your thumb there. Don't move! Don't move! I actually wore these new pants that I really like. <laughs> They have to check every single pocket. And these were some Japanese zipper style Final Fantasy stuff. So I had like a million pockets that I've never opened. And the guy was like, You need to open all the pockets. And I had a huge line behind me. I was like, What? So I'm finagling with these pockets and it looks like I'm trying to hide something because I'm taking forever to open them. I'm like, I'm not, I'm just really like, I've never opened these before, so. <laughs> In the notice of the cry, so I'm picking it up. Picking it up, I'm like, <clears throat> what? So I finally open every single pocket, and he's like, flip them out. And he's like, you have back pockets too? And I'm just like playing with my butt cheeks, trying to open these stupid pockets. I'm like, never again am I gonna wear pocketed pants. I'm gonna come naked next time to make it easier. Went in for my step, and these people were so kind. What exam are you taking today? Oh, my step exam. Oh, are you ready? I'm sure you're happy to get it over with. And I was like, yeah, like, these people were smiling, they were kind, they weren't upset that they were late or anything, they weren't, like, rushing anyone, they were taking as much time as they needed, and I was like, thank you for being professionally late. Ow. You know, like, there's, there's an unprofessional way to be late, like, stress every student out. Yeah, come on, come on! Woo. Like, paddle, like, raggling, what is it, Haggling cows? Cattling cows? Wrangling cows? Like, moving them through? What is this called? What is that horrible smell? It's Peter thinking again. Good thinking! A YouTube video. But they were like very kind about it. The only weird thing was, I have a cross necklace. And the guy was like, oh, can I see your cross necklace? And I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, drop it. I was like, what? He's like, drop it. Okay. And he like went like this. Okay. Can you flip it around for me? And I was like, Drop it! Okay, alright, drop it. Cheeseburgers later? You're good. I was like, what the heck? Turns out, since it was a religious symbol, they had to allow me to keep it, but they had to make sure that it wasn't like a small camera or something. Ooh, if you're going that far to like cheat, then you shouldn't even become a doctor. Like, what the heck? This is a sign of spirituality. My god. My god. The funniest part of the day for me. So the guy, after I sat down and everything, signed all the paperwork, did the finger scans and stuff, which was actually better than they did at the MCAT. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, so we're just gonna take a picture right now for photo ID, and I was like, okay. And then he's like, smile, and I was like... Where? I didn't say where, but like, I was like, where's the camera? I'm looking at you, you're, you're in front of me, but you are definitely not the camera. So I'm like, trying to find out where the camera is, and there's another guy standing here, so I like, look at him. Where the heck is the camera? I'm like, oh, and... Then I finally see it at the corner of my eye, and then I finally make contact with it, I'm like, oh, hey. And I smiled, and I was like, wow. It was probably the ugliest smile or picture that they've ever seen in their entire existence. It was probably the ugliest thing mankind has ever birthed. I never want to see that again. And they're like, okay, we're gonna take it to your exam. Then I get to my desk, and they tell me to sit down, tell me to put my code and everything. I'm like, okay. And the exam's loading up. And you know what the first thing is that pops up on my screen? My stupid face. He's like, hey, hi, 
Hi, I'm Peter. You're Peter. You're about to take this exam. You look like a stupid fool. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. And like, I saw my eyes and I was like, wow. I look terrified. I look exhausted. My eyes are poofy. My hair is not done. And I look like I lost 15 pounds. And I'm already a very thin guy. So I was like, wow, someone give this guy a sandwich. And I was like, is that me? Wow, I really want to get this exam over. So I sat and I was like, you know, I'm going to use the... They give you like one minute to decide if you want to use some of your break time or if you want to go straight to the exam. And I was like, hey. I'm gonna use this whole minute and like take some notes down. And then when it finally got down to like the final 10 seconds, I put my code in and I clicked with the mouse. And right when I clicked OK, the mouse moved up and I missed the OK button. And my exam shut down and went straight to break time. And I was like, what? Why am I in break time? I'm supposed to start the exam. So I was like freaking out. I was like, okay, Pete, breathe. You're wasting some of your break time already. You're not even using it. You're just like, you want to like beat the system, but this is what you get, Peter. You're so annoying. I finally like put my code in, see my stupid face again. I'm like, shut up, stop mocking me. <laughs> and click start. And it's like, do you want to start the exam? I'm like, yes. It's like, do you want the tutorial? I'm like, yeah, but like, let's just go through it quickly just to make sure the brightness, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's start. And then I started my exam. The best advice I could give you about what to do during the exam is to make sure each, each block is like its own thing. If you feel like you did really well or you did really badly on one block, don't worry about it. Drop it, move to the next block. What's really important is to think about when you want your breaks. I did my my friend took the exam. Excuse? My friend said coming back for round two. No. My friend took the, took the exam before me and he was like, he did the first block and then he did the second block back to back and he said that he felt really tired during the second block and I was like, thank you for letting me know that. So I did my first block and then I was about to go to my second block I was like, oh, I should take a break now. Then I thought, if I just hammer out this second block because I'm ready to do this, I could, I could only have five more left and that would make me feel really good. So I was like, mm, let's go to the next one. So I clicked the next one. And that was a bad mistake because I got winded by question 20 and I was like, whoa, what is medicine? Then after that block, I was like, thank God for breaks. In one break, I'd go pee. One break, I would go eat something. In one break, I'd pee. One break, I'd eat something. I tried to like spice it up. So I'm like, oh yeah, this one, this break, I'm going to get to pee. Oh, this break, I'm going to get to go eat something. I used all of my breaks. And by the very end of the exam, the test taker people were like, you were the only one today who like used all his breaks. And I was like, <laughs> does that mean I'm stupid? Like, a lot of people say you have 5 to 10 questions per block that you've never seen before. And, like, I thought the exam was pretty fair when I went through it. In my first 5 blocks, I was like, this is actually not that hard. And I was like, what is everyone talking about the 5 to 10 questions per block that, don't, that they don't really recognize? I was like, maybe I'm just, like, really smart. <laughs> and then God came in to, like, humble me. And block 6 was, you know, the block. They Instead of having 5 to 10 per block, they put them all in one block. In block 6, I legit had five questions that I knew. Everything else was like, holy macaroni. What? What is medicine? What did I study? Like, where, where is this information coming from? And I was very lost. I like was like, I'm here to take the exam. I'm not going to worry about stress. I'm not going to worry about the score. I'm just going to take each question as its own thing. Each block, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You'll never see me cry. Also, this is like the biggest thing that you should know. For ethics questions, listen carefully. Those are the easiest questions. But, do you know what they do? They trick you. For every single ethics question I had on step, I picked A, and by the time of me reading every single other answer choice, I would hit answer choice E, and answer choice E was always better than answer choice A. So I think they know that these are the easy kinds of questions and people are trying to save time. So they'll make A sound really good, but really E is the answer. So just, uh, not necessarily like just click E when you hit an ethics question, but just read through all the answer choices because I think that's like a little trick that they try to do. So yeah, that was my step experience. You're going to be done before you know it. You're going to be a third year. You're going to be a doctor. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure that you share it. Subscribe, whatever, do the whole thing. Be safe, be strong, be swagged. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. I right, deuces, fam. Bye. Okay. Hi. Oh, we're about to start this whole video about you, the day of step. Step day. <laughs> Your step or step. Just stop talking, Peter. And honestly, here's like the best thing I could tell you. I don't even know how much time I have left. How much time I have left? Five seconds. See you later. Three, two, one. Okay, we're back.
Even that was like super helpful. I got like 50 questions right. My pants are dropping. I got like, you gotta do like that dance, like the. That's the pants dance. Pants. I could be pantsless, and you guys wouldn't know. Shout out to medicine.media. They are a new site started by someone actually at my school and they reached out to me. I really love the idea of it, trying to make all medicine topics mainstream media, so I'm sure they'd love to have you on board. The stuff is all in the description down below, so make sure you check them out. And... What was I going to say? Outro? No, I did the outro. My brother's supposed to be coming home soon so we can eat food. Bruh, where you at? Where, where you at? Bruh, where you at? Where, where you at? Ah, I think he's back. Okay, see you, bye. I just went downstairs and all the lights were off in the house. I was like, how is he still not home? And I went and looked inside the dining room and no one was in there. I was like, what the heck? So I was thinking like, where's John? I'm in the kitchen and all I see from down here, all I see is... <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh! And like, my heart, wow, tachycardia. John, when you watch this, watch out, I'm coming for you. That does not feel threatening at all. You're gonna get it times a hundred. John, if you're watching this, just watch out. Watch out, you know? John, if you're watching this, you're so stupid, you almost killed me. It was so scary, I almost died. So happy. So huh. So model. Yes, mom. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far. I can't go back to new horizons to pursue. I'll chase them anywhere. There's time to spare. Let me share this whole new world with you. A whole new world. That's where we'll be. A thrilling chase. A wondrous place for you and me. Weird. Oh. Ready to go to the post office? I need to mail in my masterpiece!